I designated three months to grow my YouTube. And you know what happened? YouTube themselves told me publishing more helped your channel get 600 and si <laughs> some of y'all aren't hungry enough. Because I focused on YouTube, I was able to quit my job. Focus y'all, this is your time to go all in. Do not take these goals into the next year. Right now, we're gonna get this done. Hi my loves, it's me Gina V and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy today because I just hit 40k. I had 4,000 or 3,000 just a few months ago. Thank you so 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 much to everyone who's been supporting me, everyone who's been here from the beginning and the girlies that are just joining now. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to actually grow your YouTube channel in 2023. When it came to YouTube, like when I started my personal channel, YouTube was the hardest for me to grow. It just feels like you're posting and no one is watching. There was a moment where even getting a thousand views I was happy like that was a video doing good for me y'all. But March of 2023 everything changed. These are the things that I started doing to grow my channel. Like I know sometimes it seems like some people are lucky. The algorithm just hates me. No, no, no y'all. Let me break these things down for you so that you too could also grow on YouTube y'all. Because I feel like I win when you guys win. Let's get into the video y'all. Post valuable content. My channel was growing a subscriber zero two three subscribers when i was posting selfish vlogs and just vlogging and random content that no one was really looking for my channel was barely growing but when i started posting how to content that people were actually searching for my channel skyrocketed and the thing is i wasn't just posting those videos to get views i came with real and actual advice that when even when you read the comments you can tell that what i'm talking about is legit and that i'm being genuine what is valuable content when you come on youtube you're trying to be entertained learn something new you are not on youtube to watch random people that you don't care about but once someone has given you value in a way you start to be invested in them and you start to care about them and then you start watching them for just them i'm not saying don't make vlogs i'm not saying don't make videos you enjoy i'm saying while doing that also make valuable content or find a way to make your vlogs valuable pick a topic that you know a lot about or you have had a life-changing experience say you've recently lost a lot of weight and you know a lot about weight even if you don't want to be a weight loss influencer that's still a way you could give people value through your vlogs say you're you have really nice hair right and you've managed to grow your hair super long but you want to be a lifestyle creator figure out a way to give people value about your hair and create content i started thinking how can i serve my audience what is a way that i can make anyone who comes across my video a better person do not get mad at me for this next one say it with me consistency but this time it's not just me saying it look what youtube said you know when you go to youtube studio like it'll just update you about your channel and stuff did i take a screenshot let me see because you know i'm gina b gonna come with receipts it said mm, your hard work paid off publishing more helped your channel get 600 and <laughs> 675 percent more views than usual are we kidding is 675 percent even a real number i don't know but youtube themselves told me publishing more has helped your channel so when i sit up here and i'm like be consistent you guys i'm not just trying to fill up space i'm being for real me and the youtube executives are being for real but one thing i am against is posting bad content consistently quality and quantity you don't have to choose one or the other you don't have to post a bunch of bad videos or post one good video once in a while do both figure out the consistency that allows you to post quality content consistently it helps you experiment so you could also pinpoint the videos that work for your audience. I'm doing my back to school series right now, right? But then I also started a new series called Influence Her. Influence Her was just a passion project. It wasn't even for the algorithm. And I genuinely thought it was gonna be one of my worst videos. It was one of my best videos in the first day of uploading. You just never know what video your audience is gonna like. It just helps you build that engagement and that trust with your audience. My favorite creators, I could trust that every single Sunday I'm getting a vlog. Yeah, that's my two cents on that. But like I said, YouTube themselves said it. They said it. So don't be mad at me now. 
Tip number three is utilizing short form content. If you haven't noticed, I've been experimenting a lot recently with YouTube shorts because I was on TikTok one day and I just clicked on this girl's YouTube like in her bio on her TikTok and it brought me to her YouTube channel. Tell me why she had a million subscribers. And I looked at her channel, she had not one long form content. She only had viral shorts. That's when I was like, wait, like the future is now where people could have a million YouTube subscribers just off of shorts? Yeah, I need to tap in. That's when I made up my mind like, yeah, I'm gonna start posting YouTube shorts. And it kind of made sense because I already post on Instagram Reels, I already post TikToks, so all I have to do is repost them on YouTube shorts. Like it's so simple wrong i would forget to post on youtube shorts shorts would just never effortlessly come to my mind but i found something that not only could help me but could help you guys as well i want to introduce you guys to planoly planoly is a social content planner that simplifies your workflow and i'm always telling you guys to plan and to batch create but it's kind of like how like after batch creating you have a bunch of clips a bunch of content and it's like how do you go about actually posting all this content that you've made. So that's where Planoly comes in. I really think Planoly is a game changer because they just came out with their new auto post feature that allows you to post short form and long form content up to three minutes long, all in the same workspace. And I know YouTube already has a way that you could auto post shorts and auto post long form content and just schedule it as well. But Planoly is better because you can repurpose content all in the same workspace. So you don't gotta worry about clicking this, going here, going to this site, doing this, like it's all in one place. Short form is being pushed out so heavily. So if you're already creating Instagram Reels and TikTok Shorts, all you have to do is add YouTube as a channel, customize the captions, and set it to auto post. Like it's really that simple. If you're still in school or if you're working or you just have other obligations, having a system like this is super beneficial because it makes content creation much simpler. If I had something like this back when I was working, I feel like I would have been way more consistent and it just would have been an easier and a more fun for me because all I gotta do is worry about filming and then auto post it and it's done but I didn't have this so I'm so glad that this is available for you guys so I just really wanted to put you guys on as a creative it is so important to focus on the creative aspect like when I'm ready to film like I am ready to film I have filming energy it's a different type of me when it comes down to really doing like the thumbnails and the SEOs and the nitty-gritty stuff I feel like using AI and using platforms like Planoly will really benefit you guys because it gets rid of that resistance of posting and you could be consistent you've already done the work of filming so let platforms like Planoly take care of the posting. So if you're interested in spending more time creating and less time worrying about the tedious things definitely definitely click the link in my description box. And you guys know I had to get something for my subscribers y'all. Planoly is offering 30% off annual subscriptions if you use the code GINA30. So click the link down below to sign up and get started today. And a huge thank you to Planoly for sponsoring this portion of the video. Alright let's get into the next tips prioritize and focus. If you want to grow on YouTube, you cannot also want to grow on TikTok, want to grow on Instagram. It's so, especially if you have a full-time job and you're in school, growing on all three, think about it. This is some people's jobs, meaning day and night, that is what they do. You can do it part-time, but it's so much harder to grow three platforms fast, effectively, with quality engagement while working, while going to school. Like, I feel like that's so hard. Like, I don't know, maybe you got it. In the beginning of the year, January 1st, when I decided I am going to grow my channel, I was like, okay, with growth comes sacrifices. I cannot expect to grow, but not want to give anything up. What did I do? I stopped partying, focus. I stopped going out on the weekends because what? I was working full time, so I needed that the weekends to film. You know what else I stopped doing? I started posting less consistently on Instagram. I started posting less on TikTok, and I took that time. I designated three months to grow my YouTube. And you know what happened? Nothing. <laughs> No, I'm being so serious. Those videos only got like 1K views, but sometime in March, one of those videos I had filmed earlier took off and my channel grew. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. If you pour your heart into something, you're gonna get the results. If you just, what? Believe. I designated a few months. Now, YouTube was not my whole life. I still had things to do, but I didn't put pressure on myself to be grown on Instagram, grown on TikTok, grown on YouTube, because 
I don't know for me that doesn't work naturally like right now that I'm being consistent on YouTube I am not posting as much on other platforms because I know the investment I'm putting on YouTube will give me a greater return than if I put it in another platform at this moment and it did y'all because I focused on YouTube y'all I'm gonna be a hundred and ten percent honest with you because I focused on YouTube for those three months I was able to quit my job because my AdSense revenue started making me as much as my full-time job I'm gonna be real before I was focusing on YouTube, I took time to focus on TikTok to grow that platform. And TikTok inadvertently grew my Instagram. And then sometimes I would be way more focused on Instagram. So don't be hard on yourself for not being able to grow on every single platform. Choose the platform that you think in this season is going to be the most beneficial and go all in. But I think YouTube is never a waste of time. You know YouTube is the platform for you and you know that if you just get a little bit of growth you could run with it and just give, make an empire. Like no, I really believe in y'all so please do not give up. Take this time to, to learn the algorithm, learn your audience, learn what content like focus y'all. This is your time to go all in. And do not take these goals into the next year right now we're gonna get this done <laughs> like that was my mind I said I'm not leaving this year without 10k I'm sorry y'all gonna have to leave me in 2023 if I don't have 10k and guess what God blessed he, he said you know what I could tell you serious because one thing about God when he knows you are serious and when he knows that you're you're hungry enough some of y'all aren't hungry enough like you got to want it and God will provide I'm telling you because even when I grew on YouTube it was not to my own doing it was so random I didn't even follow the schedule I should have I didn't do so many things but I feel like the hunger and the passion alone God blessed my hunger and my passion and then blessed me with you guys so yeah that's my little my little my little two cents be mindful of the algorithm but create for an audience when I created my how to become an influencer video the algorithm told me it was my worst video it said consider changing consider deleting get rid of this video I knew that no there is an audience there's someone like me out there that really wants to know how I do what I've done and this video is gonna help them guess what the algorithm later on found that audience of people and served them that video. So a lot of people like to think like, no, the algorithm hates me. The algorithm doesn't hate you. The algorithm is only here to serve the audience. The algorithm is not here to serve you. So you have to find a way to create for the audience and be mindful of what the algorithm is looking for so it could properly serve your video to the audience. Does that, okay, does that make sense? So this is the problem. A lot of people, when you create for the algorithm, you are doing yourself a disservice because you start creating these robot-like captions, these random tags, these things that you think the algorithm is gonna like, but you are not creating for an audience. When you create for an audience, it's more of an emotional thing. You have someone in mind. You want to serve someone. You're more passionate. I'm gonna break down the algorithm for you simply. All the YouTube algorithm wants is for people to click on a video and to watch it. Those are the only two, I don't know about the only, but those are the two most important things. How do I know this? Y'all, in my focus season, I read a book called The YouTube Formula by Daryl Eves. He broke down YouTube from its inception. He broke down YouTube in every single way possible. I studied the platform and I studied the algorithm, but then I created for an audience with that in mind. Clicking has to do with click-through rate. Every video, look at your click-through rate. Look at how many times your video is recommended and how many times someone clicks on it. What affects your click-through rate? Your thumbnail. Thumbnails are extremely important. Thumbnails are the model for your video. If someone does not like how your video looks, they are not gonna click on it. They do not know that you're giving value if they just simply don't like how it looks. Watch has to correlate with your watch time. And this is mostly affected by your intro. The first 30 seconds of your video are ex like y'all, they may be the most important part. So even me, when I am editing, I focus so much on the beginning of my video. The first 30 seconds seconds my intro I'm trying to pull you in I'm speaking directly to you that's why a lot of y'all be like it feels like you're talking to me you're talking to me I am like I literally am but the way I do that is I just talk to the camera as if I'm talking to my younger self I appeal to the emotions of why I'm making this video right at the end of the day we are still looking for connection so when you click on a video and whoever is speaking you feel like they're connected to you it just hits different so that's what I would say for watch time definitely focus on the introduction of your video 
valuable content, posting consistently, utilizing short form content, prioritizing and focusing, be mindful of the algorithm, but creating for your audience, y'all. Focus on these basics and I promise you, you will experience growth. And again, I want to thank you guys so, so much for 40K. Like, I'm getting a little bit serious because, y'all, I cannot believe it. The thing about YouTube that I love is when you grow on YouTube, honestly, you grow as a person. You learn so much about yourself. When content creating, like, I don't know if anyone could relate to that, but, like, I am so, so thankful for you guys. I am so, so thankful for 40,000. I wanted 10K, y'all. Y'all gave me 10K. Y'all gave me 20K. Y'all gave me 30K. And now I have... Four 40,000 y'all I am so grateful and I am so so thankful so if you subscribed if you've liked if you've commented if you've interacted with my content in any way I just want to say thank you thank you so 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 much that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe if I've helped you in any way and don't forget I love you God loves you stay happy stay healthy and stay blessed all right y'all bye Planally, 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 planally is planally. Tools like planally.